A whole lot of ZMGs might be the most difficult rush in battles to, to defend, so let's see what happens. Alright guys, we are on the map star for the first match of the video with Tack, Lu, and Village. You guys know I love this strategy. My opponent's probably going Tack Farm Wiz with Jericho. That's literally what every single person whole matches is using right now. So it's kind of annoying playing because when there's only one strategy people use, it's not as fun. But we're trying to find other strategies that people can use still and beat Tack Farm with Jericho. So Tack, Lu, Village might be one of them. So we'll see how this goes. Starting with my Tack right here and we'll get my um, Smudge Kata Zili here on round one as well. You already know the vibes there. They're starting with their tax shooter as well. They're going to get their Jericho down here in a second, I'd imagine. Let's get my Azili down. Perfect. Oh, it's Highwayman Jericho. Okay, I need to be careful then with their um selling thing. I need to make sure that they don't force sell anything scary on my side. You know what I'm saying? I need to be very careful there. Very, very careful. Put this on strong. Let's upgrade that to faster shooting. They got their blade shooter up. Fair enough. Let's upgrade this to even faster shooting. Nice. We're good against that. We'll switch over to blue balloons here in a second. Open my balloon queue so I can send them at the start. Perfect. And we're vibing. We're vibing. We also got the secretive farmer and balloon bot bundle, ladies and gentlemen. You already know. Farmer and balloon bot bundle. It's going to be $15 for this video, so get it while it's hot. You already know there. Let's get my um, glue gunner down right here because I do want to stole these rounds. Stolen the rounds will be helpful for me. So getting my glue gunner down, trying to get these rounds super short, super sweet. You know what I'm saying? You love that. All right, they got their farm down. Fair enough. It's got to be Tack Farm with Jericho, dude. It's got to be. It's got to be, ought to be. You know what I'm saying? A pink balloon should not be an issue. I don't want... I can upgrade to my blade shooter against these, but I really don't want to because it will anti-stall the rounds more. And I can manage just a few leaks that I'm thinking right now. He's going to use his Highwayman Jericho ability here soon, I'd imagine. Yep, there it is. There it is. I'm starting to think Highwayman's actually better than normal Jericho because the cooldown, I used to think the cooldown was double the time at 120 seconds, but it's actually only 1.5x the time at 90 seconds. And you can always take 250 from your opponent, which is the big thing. The normal Jericho, you normally take like a small portion of 250, but you always take it with Highwayman. And if you don't take it, then you're forcing them to sell something, which is even better for you most of the time. So I think Highwayman's honestly better. And the level 10 with Highwayman's also better with Misdirection versus the Ghost thing. So I feel like Highwayman's better. I don't have him unlocked yet, though, so I haven't really used him, so I can't speak on it too much. Oh, let's put this on Camo Prioritize Targeting. Should be good against that. Yep, we're vibing, we're vibing there. No worries, chat. Send him some yellows here. Imagine they're going to boost. Got their Fireball up. All right. Slow down my eco now. Boost. Stop ecoing right there. We're vibing, we're vibing. Got that up. We're good. Okay, I want to save 800 above when I get it because he can use his steel. Yep, he just used his steel. I still afforded. Perfect. Keep it going now. Yeah, dude, Highwayman Jericho is a lot more annoying to play against than normal Jericho. I can say that much at least. Highwayman is a lot more annoying to play against. And I feel like he steals more money, in all honesty. I feel like overall he steals more money. Because he, you again, you always get the max steal with them, pretty much. Or else you're forcing a sell on something. Okay, we'll keep max eco in here. Almost a thousand eco. It's not that bad. In all honesty. Okay, is he gonna rerush? We're good against that. I don't know what their money's looking like though. 
I don't know. I don't know what their time is looking like on their ability, which is a concern of mine. I don't want them to steal, force steal something again. They went for a second wall fire. Fair enough. Yep, they just stole again. Okay, they just stole again. So I know I can I can chill for a while then. Prepare to get talk shooter right here in case it sends me a Moab. We're vibing, we're vibing. We can just told him with it as well. Okay, there's the Moab. Totem. That defense. He sends me fortified. I'm gonna get this um overdrive up. I'll told him back here pretty soon as well. This totem on a Z that comes back really quickly, which is nice. Doesn't look like they're sending me fortified. I'll start equal with pink balloons then. Start ecoing with the pink balloons. Um Yeah. I should probably upgrade this. Well, I kind of want it to have camo detection, to be honest. Yep, yeah, we'll sell this one. We're vibing right now. They got their farm up. Well done, well done. They stole again from me. Dude, you just steal, you steal so much money with that. I can't even get over it. The amount of money you steal is kind of ridiculous with Jericho. And Highwayman Jericho. Okay, a Moab will be good against this because Zeely has increased mob damage now as well. Yeah, that wasn't an issue. We're fine against that. Fortified BFB coming my way. I'm going to get this overdrive up. Start saving up for a mob glue. Boost this, I guess. Uh, I didn't need a boost, bro. I did not need a boost. Boosting there is actually kind of bad. I should have just sold these in Maud or something, just to be safe. Because I only have one boost now. I didn't realize I was already down to two boosts. Okay, they stole again. Got their monkey wall straight up. Well done. What is that, a fortified ZMG? Yep. We're just gonna stall this till next round and then upgrade to my, um, upgrade to my, what's it called? Azili. Monkey City. All right, use that. Perfect. We're good against all that. Stop be going here pretty soon. They just stole like 1500 from me. That's kind of insane. We'll stop 4500 eco. Perfect. We'll get this up to super glue. Put him on first. We're vibing, we're vibing. My eco is pretty good. They've got good farms though. So I don't know how this game's gonna play out to be honest. I'm not sure if we'll be able to defend. Hopefully we will, but again, Highwayman Jericho just makes allows them to get such good farms and they can also the thing about it is they can also send cheaper fortified BADs, which is kinda crazy to think about. I think they send fortified BADs for 24k guys. If I remember correctly. Which is pretty insane. So they can send it and cheaper fortified ZMGs, cheaper fortified anything. Um, let's get that down. Can I fit another attack shooter? Thought I could. Saw it. Where was it, dude? Why can't I find the spot?
I think I'm dead. I think I'm just dead, bro. No! Oh, I was so close to defending two. I'm telling you guys, if Jericho wasn't stealing like $50,000 every second, I defend that at 10 times out of 10. It's literally just because Jericho's OP. Oh, that was so close to. I think if I didn't use my earlier boost as well, I would have been chilling there. I used that boost against the fortified B fortified um BFB kind of screwed me over as well. Alright guys, the second and final match of the video is on the map of, um, what's this map called? Since time. I'm going strategy of Wizards back and farm. We're trying this out, so it should be a fun one. Get my farmer, get my balloon bot down first things first. Get my wizard down right about here. Perfect. Fireball on that. They're playing Dartling, okay? They're going Jericho as well, so at least they're not going to attack farm Wiz, dude. At least they're not going to attack farm Wiz. We can take a sigh of relief there, because literally that's what everyone's using, so... I'm fine with you using Jericho sometimes, but at least if you're not going talk farm with as well, dude. Let's get my Azili down. Perfect. We're fine there. They got their Jericho down. Fair enough. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can get really good farms this game and then get my super mines and stuff. That'll be fun. If I can get a super mines down. Because you don't get super mines too often, guys. That's one upgrade that's really strong, but you don't get it too often. Barely ever see a super mines in Hollow Masters. Okay, we're good against those green balloons. Wait, why am I still sending group deco? I do not know. Send space deco now. I wonder, do they have an eco strategy? They might. They might have an eco strategy here. Let's get wall fire up. I think they do. Okay. Interesting. Think they do indeed have an equal strategy. Just make sure to put this on camo prioritized targeting just before we even have to worry about it so I don't forget. So I so I do not forget. Yeah, they've gotta have eco here. I don't know what their strategy would be. Let's get a dartling and not a dartling, let's get a farm down. Keep on with the max eco they're stealing from me. See, this is why I think Highwayman's better, dude. Like I can avoid lots of the stealing of money. But highwayman, you can't avoid any of it. Increased production, perfect. Yeah, they got their faster barrel spin up. We're gonna get you up to intense magic here in a second, so I don't leak, hopefully. My opponent's gonna slowly leak to white balloons, and they'll leak a lot to black balloons. Especially because their Jericho is, after their Dartling's hitting a lot of these balloons, I think their Jericho's on first as well. You should have his Jericho on strong there. Yeah, strong is definitely the what you should do with your Jericho targeting. Uh, this should probably be on first, to be honest. Yeah, they got an Alchemist down, so they're just Dartling Alk something. Is what they've got, okay. Dartling Alk Ninja, maybe. We'll keep saving up for my Banana Plantation. Ooh, dude. The wizard... Oh, it's because my wall of fire is placed poorly. It's not enough in the intersection. You want to be clipping the intersection more than I placed it. Because I was wondering why I was leaking so much. Normally, I don't. Yeah, bad placement on my end. Bad placement. We're vibing, we're vibing. Let's get valuable bananas here. Nice. Monkey sense on this. Let's use that ability. No way, I'm still leaking, bro. I didn't need a second wall fire. Okay, we're fine. All right, that was that was that was rough. That was rough. I'll be honest. Like 
No, I used the ability in it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I clicked the ability before the purples hit my wall of fire and it still extinguished it. That was so weird. I don't know why that happened. They don't steal money from me. Okay, stopped. Let's collect those bananas. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right. We're vibing. That was, that was rough though, that was rough, let me tell you. That was a little scary. They got their alt buff up, fair enough. Not Definitely not gonna rush them. We 100% want to anti-stole. That's gonna be the only way we can win this game, getting a hard anti-stole, but I'll anti-stole after we get some eco and then folk get a BRF up. Then I'll folk put some money towards anti-stalling. I think we'll go 1250 on the eco. Maybe 1200 actually. They're stealing again. Let's not collect my bananas. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look how much I can avoid their steal. Now we collect bananas. We're done close. We'll just get this up preemptively. So if they send me a Moab, this will help me out a ton against the Moab. They send me purples. We're good against that. A little scary, not gonna lie. We're fine. This man likes his purple balloons. They're stealing from me again. Let's use totem. Let's boost this. We've got a big pile of spikes now, so if they send me Moabs, the Moabs are going to get shredded. We've almost got this up. Perfect. It's dark. Yep, it's darting out Ninja as I expected. This should not do much. We'll get a wolf fire right here. This should instantly pop the Moab. Yep, look at that. We're good against the insides. Perfect. Yeah, we're good. Let's get the central market up. Perfect. We're down to one life now, though. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that. The totems got me. I can't use any more totems, dude. That's bad. Okay, are we good against those? We are. A little scary. Not gonna lie. We're fine. Should we be able to get around 22 Monkey Wall Street, hopefully? How much do you sell for? 20k? I need 23.5k. I can also sell this. I need about 20k. I need about 20k, roughly. Okay, it's a fortified ZMG. No, I can't get this round. I need to get round 23, unfortunately. We'll, we'll just hex this. It'll eat up all my spikes, though. So I, that'll be a little bit rough. They're stealing lots of money from me. How much checks cost? 6,000. Oh, that's going to remove my spikes. It actually didn't. What? Uh, interesting. I don't know why that didn't remove the spikes, but fair enough. I'll take it. We'll upgrade that. Use it now. That'll pop it. Perfect. Good defend. Good defend. I don't know what the plan is with rushing. I think... Hmm. Round 32 all out might be good. Round 32 all out might be the move. They're stealing more from me. Well done. DDTs are not an issue for me because I have Spike Storm. Which 
is always a good thing against DTs. Central market, perfect. I want to get that banana central as soon as possible here. We can sell these. We're good against that stuff. Yeah, if he sends me like a round 28 all out, I can Phoenix and use a carpet of spikes and that will defend pretty much. Thirty K. Alright, I'll be able to get my banana central at the start of next round. They got their master bomb up, well done. Got my banana central up. Go for another farm. Perfect. And another one. If he sends me a BAD, I honestly should be pretty fine. A BAD is not going to do much because I can pop the layer really easy with spike storms. I can hex the insides. So I don't really think a BAD would be a hard defend for me or a fortified BAD. He never even went for a rubber to gold, dude. That would have helped him out a lot for money, my opponent. Surprised I never went for that. We should go for a Prince of Darkness. I really don't think they'll be able to defend a like round 39 all out on this map. Because the thing is, the perma brew got reduced in range, which I, I completely forgot about. The perma brew got reduced in per, uh in full range, so they're not gonna be able to br brew a lot of things with it, which means their super late game defense is gonna be a lot really weak. So I think we just wait till like round 39 and just all out them then. Cause maybe we'll get a chance to defend something as well on our side if we do that, which I wanted to defend too, you know. I think we'll go for a, uh, what's it called? A super mines over here, and we'll go for a perma spike back there. But I want to go for max farms first before I go for that stuff. Max farms is my first priority. By as in max farms, I mean I'm missing one farm spot, but who cares about that? All right, got the monkey nomics up. We're chilling then. They're stealing a lot of money from me, dude. I don't know even know how much it's stealing at this point. I don't even know at this point. Alright, Perma Spike has been bought. Use that ability. Let's get a Archmage. Er perfect. We'll start saving up for the Super Mines now. Will be the plan. Yeah, dude, the Perma Brew's range is tiny now. I don't think they're going to have super good late game with how big the Perma Brew's range is. There's sending me purples right now. But oh, no, they're ecoing now. Okay. That was weird about they're sending me purples. They're just straight up ecoing now. Let's get the super mines up. Uh, use that ability. Let's get a wizard lord phoenix up. What's the better? I'll get bottom cross path with it. I don't know what the better cross path is with these. I'm not sure. I don't think ecoing smart for them. They're not going to get a, a return by round 39 when I rush them on their eco. They're not going to get a full return. Okay, he stopped ecoing right when I said that. Man is listening to me, literally. Man is literally listening in on my recording. Carpet of spikes, perfect. The bad thing is I can't micro my... I don't have any money to micro my... Um, what's it called? I don't have lives to micro my totem, is what I was trying to say. I don't have lives to micro my totem. So that's a bit unfortunate. We'll upgrade all of these to mob shredder, so then they're just making a big pile, and I can upgrade them to spike storms if he rushes me. Oh, that was a spike balls. I don't want that. How many boosts I got? We got one boost. It's decent. 
Yeah, I don't think they're defending. At least with what they've got right now, dude. They don't have very much. They don't have a transforming tonic. They don't have a lot of defensive things they need to defend a rush. So I'll, I'll just send them a rush when they send me one. Or, and if not, I'll just send them one in round 39 before I get GG round 40. Yeah, they get their MAD up. They need to go for an Alk buff on it. Alright, they get that up as well. Nicely done, nicely done. What I'll actually do is I'll lead my rush with some ZMGs. Because that'll that'll block everything. ZMGs are actually really good at blocking stuff. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I hope he counters me, dude. I don't want to just... I don't think he's going to counter me, though. See, look. The ZOMGs are blocking the pierce of all their ninjas, dude. And these BEDs at the start are going by untouched. It's not looking good for them. They're selling everything. They're countering. I have super mines. I have super mines, bro. Boost. They, I defended. I defended. And I also had all the perma spikes in the back, bro. So that's the good part about Spike Factor. You can literally sell your defense and you still have defense to defend a counter. I got the accolade of send 100 ZMGs at your opponent. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do something for me right now. I would make my day. Go to the shop tab, hit the career support, and put in code Ryan Mahalik. It helps me out as a um, content creator. But that's it for today. Ryan Mahalik out. Peace, lads.